Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a pick a power reading to see what is your superpower. Ooh. So we have four piles to pick from, as usual. For pile number one, we have this little piece of spectrum. It's a succulent. You can literally just like put this in the uh, in the ground, and it will grow. We call it elephant elephant bush as well. Wonderful fucking plant. I love it so much. For pile number two, we have this piece of oh, clear quartz crystal. For pile number three, <clears throat> we have this. Clear Quartz Obelisk with a little bit of orange and yellow in there as well. I don't know what the orange is, maybe Cornelian, that's Citrine. And then for pile number four, we have this bunch of queens. Um. So yes, one, two, three, four, pick your pile to see what is your superpower, ooh, and I will see you there. Satnam, pile number one for those of you who picked this spackbloom plant, this is going to be a reading. I immediately heard something about benefit of the doubt, um, so maybe a part of your superpower is that either people trust you a lot or um, it even has something to do with like Part of your superpower is your compassion. And the spack boom is a plant of abundance, okay? So maybe you are, like, very abundant in compassion. But let's see what the cards have to say. There is definitely some kind of growth. Uh, Ace of Pentacles reverses. I'm saying that, though. Spack boom can, like, grow and thrive in very harsh environments. Very dry, very warm environments. Or maybe somebody here is giving, like, Tarot the benefit of the doubt. What's happening for pile number one? Or something like that. Benefit of the doubt. Am I saying it correctly? Anyway. Five of Cups reverse. The Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. Princess of Swords reverse. For pile number one, what's your superpower? And Queen of Pentacles. Absolutely. Uh, Princess of Cups. Yeah, I feel like people, at pile number one, I feel like people recognize your abundance, your usefulness, um, and your, I don't know, the vibe you bring, the tranquility maybe you bring, or the abundance that you bring, or the, like, groundedness that you bring. I feel like um, a very big part of your super pile, pile number one, is, like, if you look into... Um, for instance, like astrological magic, utilizing the consciousnesses and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, of the planets. Um, Jupiter is, is a planet of expansion, right? But it's also a planet of like people seeing you in an expanded way, like seeing you successful, seeing you, etc., which makes them treat you that way. That's what I'm getting for you, Paul number one. It's kind of like your energy, um, your energy kind of just gives people that like benefit of the doubt, or you just seem very abundant, which makes people trust you more, okay? Um, I also feel like you seem very like lively and like fresh a lot of like um a lot of uh spack boom energy a lot of this this energy what what is this the scientific name of this um I can't remember now. It doesn't matter, though. And I also feel like a, a big part of your superpower, pile number one, is that you, like, you like really endure a lot. You can grow anywhere. Uh, you can lay down roots anywhere and then flourish as well. Not just, like, to do but, like, actually be something or uh, create something, you know? Ooh. 
Uh, poll number one, if you feel like you've been looked over a lot, uh, like people like looked over you or like haven't been noticed a lot, 444, or like people just don't notice your worth or something, um, especially also like with the spackman, like it's actually a very inconspicuous plant, e even though it's very beautiful and like fresh and useful, etc, etc. Um, it's kind of like the looking overness is also a superpower because... I don't know, like, the, the spackboom is also called, like, the miracle plant, right? You are this, like, spackboom energy. It's, like, called the miracle plant. Um, elephant bush, right? And um, because it's so looked over, it's kind of like people don't recognize that there's this, like, miracle right in front of them or something like that. Like, something very abundant or something very giving, like, overly giving, overflowing even, you know? because it grows so easily, etc., etc., that, like, uh, like, like, in some way, like, as soon as you recognize, uh, there's, like, maybe people can't, like, misuse you, you know what I mean? Maybe people can't misuse your abundance. Especially if you recognize that you are the energy that is making this grow, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, you might even be, like, really good with, like, herbs, just plants in general. I'm hearing a lot of, like, earthwork, and I'm, I'm just thinking something about, like, colonizing Mars or some shit. I don't know. Maybe somebody here has a plan to, like, in 30 years' time also, like, be a part of something like that. Or I don't know what the fuck, okay? Um, I'm also feeling like you take really... E Ooh, look at this. Ace of Cups overflowing indeed with the star as well. Oh, my God. And the fool. Judgment. Jeez Louise. Um... It's it's kind of like you take you take roots into in people's like hearts or in people's like minds or like their psyches as well and like you freshen them up or you like liven them up you bring a lot of life uh to a situation to energy okay you bring a lot of life um because like that's what i mean by abundance it's not just money right it's like um that freshness like oh yeah <laughs> thank you so much for the one that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you again for another one set number two pile number two for those of you who paid the square chords this is going to be a reading <laughs> to see okay what is your superpower so i did get a lot of clearing and when i do the throat singing it does do a lot of energetic clearing um especially like very like for very dense like concrete deep, deep fucking energies um so i feel like a part of your um superpower is your alchemy or something yeah but like not alchemy in the nest in like the like usual way it's kind of like with the seven of swords it's kind of like you um outmaneuver a lot of things or you I feel like you're, I just heard wise, I feel like you might be very wise or very smart, six of swords as well, yeah, a lot of like good uh, mental energies is what I'm feeling, Paul number two, which is what the uh, citrine, uh, the clear quartz is about as well, the fool, yeah, it's kind of like you make a way where there is no way or something by using your conniving energies or your, like, fox-like energies. Interesting, because I'm not being drawn to this. Or, like, with the fool as well, maybe, like, your trickster energies, you know? Because uh, Odin was a trickster, but he was also the, the, the god of wisdom. Ooh, look at this. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles, Reverse. This is very airy. Like, I'm giving... I'm getting, it's almost like some kind of, not, not ungrounded energy, but like very, um, not ethereal, but like very just like light. Ooh, the fool again. Look at you, Paul number two. Fuck. I almost said fuck you, and then I was like, fuck me, you know? <laughs> the queen, the queen of wands is I'm saying that as well. Ooh, ten of cups, ace of pentacles, the lovers. I'm getting some kind of erotic energy as well with this queen of wands, Paul number two. I feel like, uh, pile number two, I feel like you know what I'm getting. For some of you, you might have some kind of influence on people's, like, um, I'm hearing, like, endorphins, but, like, on, on, like, their hormonal system or something. Like, when you, like, when you speak to people or when they hear you or when they, like, feel your love or your energy or something like this, um, it, like, in releases endorphins or some shit or it, like... I don't know, it does something with, like, their brain chemistry. It's kind of like this energy of, like, people fall in love with, like, your mind or something. Yeah, King of Wands isn't saying that. People, like, fall in love with your mind or they fall in love with your, like... Yeah, and the lovers, Ace of Wands. Like, like I feel like people find you not only attractive, pile number, two, uh, pile number two, but, like, your superpower is that, like... Um, you're, like, very likable, very sexy. It's kind of like, I don't want to say Aphrodite energy, but, like, like, a lot of charisma, a lot of, um, 
something like that. And, like, maybe that's how you outmaneuver all of these densities because you're just very likable, extremely likable. You might you might resonate with, uh, with pile number one because the Queen of uh, Pentacles was there as well. Um, so you might be, you might also be, um, you might seem very fortunate. You also might be very fortunate with this Wheel of Fortune. Again, like, I'm, I'm, I keep getting this energy every now and then, like, Lucky Girl from Deadpool. Like, that's your, that's your energy. Or Lucky Woman or some shit, I don't know. But it's that way in regards to people's, like, emotional reactions to you, the way people perceive you. It's kind of like you're always, you're always in this, like, you're always perceived in a very good light or in a very high light. I'm hearing physically, emotionally, spiritually, uh, stuff like that. That's pretty cool, pile number two. I also feel like, like, even people that, like, aren't, like, aware spiritually uh, or whatever, like, feel this, like... Uh, very fortunate spiritual energy around you, or lucky. They might call it luck, but you call it like high vibrational, right? And yeah, a lot of like, I don't want to say like trickster energies, but like it's this kind of like you know how like like in like some kind of like divine like a movie about like God or some shit like God would like like the plot twist is God is uh, God does this whole like very sly but very wise move or some shit like that's your vibe that's also what i'm getting that's the kind of trickster energy i'm getting here extremely high vibrational pile number two i feel like your 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 empowerment your superpower is your high vibration okay i'm also hearing like if you do magic um like rituals and stuff specifically for uh your vibrations because that's what magic is about ultimately right magic is actually to alchemize your soul into gold you know um just like religion is supposedly about right i'm hearing to tell you like continue doing that because um like you really burn away things like i'm even hearing like the the um the like the the the, the purple flame of transmutation from archangel metatron or something like you you really utilize that energy okay uh thank you so much pal number two that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you again for another one so come bye yeah. Satnam Paul number three. For those of you who picked this obelisk, this uh, is going to be a reading to see what your superpower. So I feel like you're a very, very prof profound, very strong, very good uh, channel for um, God energy, for God consciousness. For like, you might channel deities or aliens. I feel like your superpower is like um, channeling, okay, and by that, with that channeling, I'm even getting that sense of, like, you know, power copying, like, you can, like, copy people's powers, uh, by, like, channeling that thought, or that energy, or that consciousness, or something like that, okay, that's very interesting, pile number three, so let's see what's up, pile Yeah, the hangman as well. Okay. Like putting yourself inside somebody's shoes or like... I'm even hearing like body hopping or something. Some of you might have some kind of mental ability to like... Uh, like haunt people or take over people's like bodies or something. What the fuck? <laughs> What's happening here? The tower. Jeez. Pile number uh, three. I'm getting some kind of energy of like Poseidon. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Like the Earth Shaker. Three, three, three. Um, so the Tower, Prince of Wands, Ace of Swords Reverse, the Star, look at you. The Star is giving me a lot of water energy as well. Because it is Aquarius, right? I think, yes. Even though Aquarius is air. Nine of Wands Reverse. I'm, uh, I'm taking all of these cards for you, by the way, pile number three. Okay, Seven of Swords. Four of Cups Reverse. King of Pentacles reverse, Three of Wands reverse, and the Ace of Cups, Palm number three. You are definitely a channel for some kind of God consciousness, and I feel like uh, this God consciousness, there might be a specific deity. I think you would be uh, Poseidon. Like, literally, the Earth Shaker, Poseidon is around you. I don't know what this has to do with your superpower, Palm number three, um, but Poseidon is around you, definitely. The God of the Oceans, Nine of Cups as I'm saying that, Six of Pentacles. 
This is very interesting, poll number three. Um, I, I, I feel like this is actually not like a message in regards to your superpowers, but I feel like um, Poseidon wants to like let you, let you, like tell you something. Um, I actually feel like you're, you know exactly what's happening in regards to this male entity, this male deity that you're working with. Um... I'm hearing to tell you, like, trust your intuition, like, know that this, that this being has been speaking to you or speaking through you or whatever, like, has been happening. I know this is a weird message, poem number three, but this is exactly what I'm getting, okay? Um, or this is about to happen. I feel like you're about to, like, start channeling, um, some kind of, like, Poseidon-esque energy, which is your superpower, okay? But, like, I feel like either you're going to be taught by this by this god or you're gonna be he's he's gonna be giving you his power so i don't know what the fuck follower three this is a very interesting power but i like this is what's happening okay i am also getting for some of you like there's there is definitely some kind of love here there's some kind of like some of you might resonate with being in like uh, religious spiritual um uh like love situationships with gods or some shit um Either way, pile number three, like, it, like whatever this message is, like, you know exactly what this is, etc., etc. Either way, your superpower, pile number three, either now or it's going to be, is your ability to, like, channel uh, God energies, okay? Um, I don't know, actually, quite honestly, what else is saying in regards to this. That is what I'm feeling. This is a very interesting energy, but, like, you're, you're, you're going to be channeling, like, God energy, Um like some kind of high priest or high priestess, but this is very specifically something to do with Poseidon or the god of the sea or Mananen McLear, the Irish uh, version. Go Google these things, pile number three. There's definitely something, there's this entity, this god wants to say something very profound to you or something like that. Oh, God. Thank you so much, pile number three. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another one. Sit them bye. Satnam, pile number four, for those of you who picked the stack of queens, ooh, this is going to be your, your um, I'm, I'm hearing something about a dragon rider or something like that, this is going to be your reading to see what is going to be, what is your, um, interesting, what is your, your, your pile number four, let me just get into this vibe, what is your superpower, jeez. I just had to, like, climb out of the ocean there, out of the, like, very, very dark, deep oceans, <laughs> uh, after pile number three, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, for pile number four, what's their superpower? Five of swords reverse, the moon... Uh, five of swords, the moon reverse. The fool reverse, and six of wands reverse. King of pentacles, yeah, nine of cups. Exactly, though. That's what I feel. Hang on. Um, pal number four, I feel like your superpower is, um, I'm getting this energy if you can't be caught. Like, you know how a lot of people believe money, uh, the matrix, the system is the thing that keeps you stuck, man. Like, we're the only people that pay to be on this planet. Like, we're the only animals that pay to live. Like, I've, like that's the truth, right? I feel like your, your superpower is you have some kind of ability to not get caught up in uh, the grind or in the like um how can i say this i want to say the story of the matrix or something like that that's what i'm getting here okay it's kind of like maybe you're very much able to see behind the veil uh very easily like you are because like the, the queens like it keeps wanting to say but i kind of want to i'm resisting that analogy but i'm going to say it because i utilize it quite often it's like you're able to buy um like you know how energetic monetary systems work like you know everything is just energy everything is just exchange right because of that because of that, like that in itself, that knowledge, that embodiment is a superpower. Because of that, like you know how to like buy 
buy up shitty energies and invest it in some fucking way. I don't know what the fuck, okay? And then create some kind of like nine of cups for yourself. This feels very earthy or very matrix related. Like you have a very like you have an impact on the actual matrix, on the like physical reality. On I'm I'm getting a lot of like um I'm getting a lot of energy in regards to like maybe stock markets or something like that. Seven of Pentacles is I'm saying that. It's kind of like um excuse me. It's kind of like this energy of If you are sacrificed or if you are in some kind of shitty situation or if you are, if you sa if you sabotage something or I don't know, like so there's some kind of like very like unsuccessful energy here. You kind of flip it. You flip the energy like home flipping or something. I don't know what the fuck. This is giving me some kind of very like logical, um, like, like, like energy, like you're a businessman that can like buy a broken down building, but you see the prospects or you see the opportunities or you see the um, potential or something. Yes, that's the thing. I feel like you see, you spot potential. And then with that potential, you create a lot of, um, I don't know, like, 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 um, almost, I don't want to say impossible, but almost like magical manifestation from it. So you, okay, so interesting. So you might have some kind of ability, pile number four, to like manifest from the void, to manifest from the, for like, like literally seeing everything is just energy, right? That's your superpower. As easy as that. And, beca and like, because of that, like you can't be caught, you can't be caught up because if you're trapped, I don't know, like you, I don't know, like you utilize the traps energy to like untrap yourself or to like feed you or I don't know what the fuck to like feed your investments or some shit. I don't know why pile number four, but I'm getting a lot of like cyborgy energy here. And that's like, and I'm trying to um like, 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 like channel that consciousness, but it's so like different or so new to me that I'm trying to like, like find the proper way to like really uh bring that in or something like that. I also feel like you have some kind of ability because you can like buy reality or whatever. I also feel like you have this ability that um by giving your energy or your focus or whatever, right? Uh you have this ability to like make something that should be um like say let, let's say for instance an addiction. You you are able to make an addiction work for you in some way or make an addiction or uh like death or an ending or something like that. You're able to utilize something that shouldn't be able to utilize um into growth. Like you're able to grow your investments, utilizing something that shouldn't be able to grow, or something like that, or that's completely contrary to the whole idea of what growth is, or I don't know what the fuck, but I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I keep saying that in every pile, though. I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the fuck, yet here I am still talking to you every day. Anyway, uh, pile number four, I hope that resonated. Thank you so much. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another one. So, bye. Ooh. Mm -hmm.